What's up, babe? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. If this is your very first time here. Today, we are gonna be doing another holiday look. We did basic babe this week for holiday, but now we going full, full glam. <laughs> We're gonna be doing this glitter and cranberry eye in this full face makeup, but I'm also gonna be showing you guys the outfit that I paired with this, as well as the jewelry. And our jewelry today is from Ana Luisa, and this video is made in partnership with them. So let's hop right into it. Before we do, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet, so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell as well, so that you are updated when new videos go up. Let's hop into the video. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the full outfit towards the end of the video, but really quick, I want to show you guys my jewelry from Ana Luisa. You know, I have partnership with them before. I feel like a lot of the time, influencers never even mention the jewelry, sis. <laughs> the jewelry needs to be mentioned. I like a balance. So if I'm doing a crazy look, I need my jewelry not to be super bulky, not super like, you know, crazy. So I love that their pieces are really, really dainty. They're very feminine. They're extremely high quality quality as well. I just feel like their pieces are super simple and like staple pieces for your wardrobe. The prices do range from $39 all the way up to higher end prices, but all the pieces are very high end. But I usually like to stack mine on top of each other because I feel like it gives a really beautiful, classy look without looking like it's too, too much. And I do love that Anna Luisa also cares about the environment. <laughs> so they pretty much give back for everything that they take as far as their carbon emissions are concerned. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly the outfit that I paired with this as well as with the makeup to kind of make everything flow and look good together. But for me, simple is key. Anna Luisa is having a Black Friday sale this week, so please make sure that you do check out the link in the description box to check out the sale and to check out the pieces, especially the ones that I got on because girl, these hoops are popping. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for partnering with me on this video, and let's hop right into this makeup. So I wanted to give you guys more of a glam type of holiday look. <laughs> I know we did the Basic Babe one earlier this week, so this one is not necessarily harder, it's just a little more glam and full face. I really was obsessed with doing like a cranberry eyeshadow look. So I think we, I think we achieved it. So I'm priming my eye and this is with my Cakeless Concealer from Benefit in the number nine. The main palette we're using today is the Saharan 2 by Juvia. A lot of you guys have been begging me to use more Juvia's Place palettes, so here we are. But the main reason I use this palette because I knew it had this beautiful cranberry shade right here. I'm gonna take a blending brush, but it's very dense blending brush. Oh, I almost forgot a step. Yeah, I can add that afterwards. Okay, yeah, so with this shade, I am going to start to stamp this into my crease, and I'm stamping it all the way around my eye. And when I get to this part, I don't wanna bring it out too, too far, so I'm kinda keeping it on the lid when I'm stamping it right here, but I do want a lot of color, a lot of color. I feel like that's about what I want. So from there, I'm going into a blending brush. This one was clean when I did this one, but I really didn't add any product to this. I just want to go around the edges and buff them out for blending. See how that just buffed that out like that? Yeah, that's what we want. So I'm just gonna do this all the way around. And this eye look is real easy, girl, real easy. Next, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and just go around that color to make sure we are nice and blended out. And then I do want a little bit of a deeper color here, so I'm actually dipping into my Jackie Ina palette. I'm gonna go into Credit. I'm just gonna put Credit right here on the outer V part. I just want a little bit of depth right here in the corner. And then I'm essentially just going back into the brushes that I used for the other two colors to make sure it's blended in there. This is a step that I said I was about to do first and I was like, eh, forget it. <laughs> so I figured I could do it like this because this is how I did it on the other side. So in the Saharan 2, we're going into the shade right here in the middle. And I am just going to dip my flat brush into that shade and put it right directly in the middle of the lid. And using the brush around that shade to make sure I'm not creating any lines of demarcation. We got a lot of fallout happening, but y'all know, I ain't really got no problem with that. Now I'm seeing a little bit of lines of demarcation on this side, so I am just going to go in 
with my blending brush that I used to stamp that color and just go in circular motions to blend that out. The next thing we are going to use on top of that shimmer is this Power Chrome Loose Eye Pigment from NARS. And this one is in the shade Hammered. I'm just going to take a flat brush into this and I'm just going to work this in the middle of our lid. And I'm moving it this way just to kind of like blend it up into our crease area. And the very last thing that I want to do on this look is add a little bit of gold glitter. But it's more like glitter specs. So I'm actually taking an eyeshadow and not a glitter. I'm going into the Juicy Boost palette, which is from Color Rain. I know we're using a lot of palettes today. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I never do this. So don't kill me. But I want to go into this Lemon Wheat Grass right here. And I'm just going to take a little bit onto a brush and literally just start to place it around. I don't want it to be overpowering. I don't want it to take over the lid. I just want to see the little specks of that goldish glitter all over the lid. You see what that does to it? I see. Mm. That just takes the cranberry look up a notch, you know? <laughs> and that is pretty much it for this eye. I'm going to take my liner and just go right on top of the lash line. Not going in with a wing or anything like that. Just giving my lashes a base to stand on. Popping on some mascara. And then popping on my lashes, which are the same V-Lux lashes that I used last time in 02. So for primer today, I'm using my Laura Mercier foundation primer and I am definitely loving these eyes. <laughs> I just love the cranberry look. I don't think I've ever done a cranberry type of look on my channel before. To some, this might come off as pink, but it's not. So don't try to come for me. <laughs> I'm going to use one of my most favorite foundations of all time, which is my NARS Natural Radiant. I absolutely love this foundation, always have ever since it came out. I don't even know when this came out, to be honest, but I have always loved it. Y'all, I watched the Fresh Prince reunion last night. Had me in tears. <laughs> it had me in tears. Just seeing everybody in the reunion and then the dad being dead and then bringing back the mom or the original mom. It was just so good. Let me know in the comments if you guys checked it out. If you were a Fresh Prince fan back in the day, y'all, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. <laughs> Amira's always talking about me when I'm watching something and I'm crying, which is almost everything that I watch. <laughs> But she was like, you're crying. Hater. I'm going to be using my Maybelline concealers today. First, I'm going to go into a deeper one, which is dark coffee. I'm going to use this to kind of contour it out. Because, yeah, see, we are going full glam today. This is going to be covered, so I'm actually going to skip that side. I do that often if I do have a bang or something. I know back when my hair used to be short, I was into makeup, but I wasn't into makeup like this back then but whenever i did put on any type of foundation or face makeup i had a bang that always went like over my forehead because that's back when you know i was extremely self-conscious about my forehead and i wouldn't walk out the door without a bang i would just skip that part of my face <laughs> when it comes to makeup like what's the point ain't nobody gonna see it anyway and i was really hiding back then so i was like yeah anybody gonna see this so i would skip it if you got the same issue or the same thing going on i skip it save some product <laughs> I mean, unless the wind is blowing and you're scared that, you know, your, your bang might fall back and everybody see your business. <laughs> if that's a concern, you might not want to go that route. I'm going to highlight with, I don't even know what shade this is. I want to say caramel maybe, but I took the sticker off of it. And this is the Fit Me Concealer. It is so creamy and nice. And this shade in particular is just the best. Just look how it blends out, girl. Yes. <laughs> For Thanksgiving this year, I probably will not even like go full glam. I'm probably gonna be more on the chill side. But even though Thanksgiving is kind of canceled for a lot of people, a lot of people aren't traveling to see their families and stuff like that. I feel like y'all can still use the content even if we not gonna be doing it up like that this year. You know, everybody's home anyway and need something to watch regardless of if it's realistic <laughs> or not. Y'all know I can't do my full glam without adding a little lighter of a concealer underneath and down my nose just for the extra pop, the little extra glam. Also add a concealer on the nose to sculpt out my nose. I did just go in with some concealer on the edges of my eyeshadow because I want that to be kind of sharp. So I'm just sharpening that up on both sides. Looking nice and sculpted. I'm going in with my good old old-fashioned Laura Mercier today. Can't go wrong. 
and I'm going to set my face. A few of you guys have suggested that, oh, I did not blend out my forehead. Let me do that before I set, girl, cause uh, that's gonna be a problem. A few of you guys have said that I do use a whole lot of products, especially my newbies. Like, girl, can we get some one brand tutorials? And that's why I'm happy I did that ColourPop one. And I do plan on doing more one brand tutorials, you know, so you guys can have like a one-stop shop type of situation to get everything that you need. If you are shopping, I would get, I would say. And I'm gonna use my Alamar bronzer today to bring some color into the face and kind of soften out our contoured areas. I'm thinking about leaving the skin a little more matte today. What y'all think? Some of y'all have been asking me for that. I'm dipping back into the Saharan 2 and going back into our cranberry shade and working that on the bottom lash line. I don't want it to be super blown out. I just kind of want to connect it with our little wing of shadow. I'm going into my high pigment liner from NARS. This is in Rodeo Drive. I'm actually, mm -hmm, I kind of feel like I wanted that to be dark. I don't know, I think we're good. Just know I said that, just in case you don't like that part. <laughs> I'm going into my mascara on the bottom lash line. And I definitely lied, I am going into some highlighter. <laughs> This is my Morphe highlighter palette. And we are gonna highlight it up in our normal areas. This look needs the most nude of the nude lips. <laughs> so I'm going into my Cupid's Arrow, which is an arrow number three. Y'all know I always like to use this as a nice deep liner. Then I'm going into my KVD liquid lipstick and this is in bow and arrow. If you are getting full glam for Thanksgiving, I would definitely suggest <laughs> doing a liquid lipstick, not only for underneath your mask, but also for stuff in your face. Just realized I did not put on my highlighter on my cheeks. So I'm gonna just go in with a little bit of that. We are skipping blush today only because we don't need it, <laughs> in my opinion. But I am adding a little bit of this more pinker highlighter to my cheeks so it can kind of reflect off of the eyes. So I did change my mono lips a little bit. That Cupid's Arrow was real grayish tone. I'm going into this liner, which is from U Juvia's Place. This is their Cola liner. And it might've just been the combination between this and the KBD. I think we need something a little more pinker tone nude. So this one is the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. This is in Chai Genius. And I feel like this works a little bit better. It's a little less gray looking. But this is the finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up our outfit that I paired with this. So like this is perfect for like a holiday event or a holiday family party you know you still look and fly but you kind of simple i feel like it's really important to wear something more on the simple side when you have real popping extra makeup you know just balance it out and in this case the outfit is a little bit more simple and so is the jewelry it's classic and simple that way you can really play up the makeup if you want. All right, babe, so that wraps it up for today's video. Shout out again to Anna Louisa for sponsoring us today. Don't forget to hit the link in the description box to get some money off of this beautiful, simple and elegant jewelry. If you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought. Also make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.